The game that everybody likes to play, including Gary Buchanan. Not really. Home with his family. <laughs> Of course, we're talking about over, under. Not really. I, I, Come I, on. I, I haven't been successful. I've been like, you know what? If I, if I was a major league baseball player, I'd still make about five, six million dollars a year because I'm batting about mm, 500. So, you know what? If I'm batting 500 in the majors, see you, Moses. I'm going down south. Yeah, I'm sure that contract with Arizona is going to kick in. I think so, yeah. Hopefully. Well, you know what? We're trying to keep you down because we know if you ever reach that certain limit of wins, we have to bump up you to a different pay scale, and we don't want that <laughs> on television. Uh, the talent fees come in. <laughs> there you go, and that's what yeah, it is, yeah. talent fees. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to knock them down a peg or two. You ready, we'll Cole? see, we'll All see. Right. Fish can do it, yeah. All right, uh, question one, very quickly, of course. We have both Trevor Linden and Brian Burke coming to Lloydminster uh, for the Bobcats uh, annual uh, dinner they have before their actual season gets underway. But I got to get to this question. Trevor Linden has played 19 seasons in the NHL. How many of them did he have 30 goals or more? In those 19 seasons, Ooh. how many were 30 plus goal seasons? I'm going to go nine. Over or under? I say it less than that. Less than that? Under? Okay, the, that is correct, Greg. The number is six. Six. Yeah. He had a couple high 20s. Really yeah, good I 20, thought he, 25. Was close. he had quite. He had quite a few. He was on a line. Been 25 or over, I think I would have got it right. He was on a line with Pavel for a while, so I think all you have to do is Just be stand in front of the, front of the net. net, let it go off your butt, yeah. and you got a goal. So. For sure. Okay, well, I mentioned Trevor Linden. Now we have Brian Burke. Question with him involving you, another fellow GM, Greg. Yeah. Brian Burke has been the general manager for four teams. How many wins does he have as a general manager? Well... It was about probably about twelve in Toronto. Um, sorry, Brian. Um, I don't. Know, I'm, I'll, I'll ballpark it. I'll, you will say seventy-four. No, one hundred twelve. One hundred twelve. Over or under that? As a general manager, through four teams. He's got way more. You think he's over. going over? Yeah. Five hundred twenty-five. Yeah, way over. Yeah, I was kind of thinking of that afterwards. He's with Hartford, of course, Vancouver. Then he's with Anaheim. But like know, 12 Toronto. wins in Toronto for three years, I think, wasn't it? <laughs> they, well, they Sorry, were Toronto good. fans. <laughs> All right, question three. It's tied up at one. Cole, for you again. In 52 Labor Day Classics between the Edmonton Eskimos or in Calgary Stampeders, the Eskimos hold the better record. How many wins do the Eskimos have? 52 games. In 52 games, how many wins do they have? 29. Over or under? I say over. Over? Not too far off. 30 was the number. So 2-1, a chance to win they it, had Greg. It, they had it yourself from last yesterday. week. Uh, Eric D Dickerson. Eric Dickerson became the seventh back to gain more than 10,000 yards and the fastest ever to do so. How many games did it take him to reach that milestone? 10,000 yards. 10,000 yards. How many games? How many games? Uh, how many games in a season? 16. 16. I say 74. Over or under? Over. Over? 91 games. Oh. Very oh. impressive. Chance to win it here, Cole. Oh. Question five. The 2001 NHL All-Star Game was the highest scoring All-Star Game in history. How many goals were scored combined? This is North America versus the world back in 2001. Oh, All-Star Games. Hate them. 31. Over or under? I say under. Under? You win it, Greg. 26 was the number. <sighs> I thought it was like 19. 14, 12 for North America at that oh, time. Oh, just love those all-star games, huh? There you go. Like Thanks a lot for hockey. playing. <laughs> We're going to have to take a commercial break. And after this timeout, we will talk to the guys and see what's up with them with Would You Rather.